Snoop Dogg's biopic, Death Row Pictures. Suge should have been thinking about doing this when he owned it. Snoop's making power moves. Yeah, let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, Straight Game TV. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Uh, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button notification as it helps push the content out to more uh, potential subscribers uh, as well as the people who have already subscribed to the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed yourself, please do so and tell a friend. And like I always say, if this is your first time watching Straight Game TV and you would like to be one of the first people notified when I drop some of this straight game, uh, please do me a favor and hit that bell notification right below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Um, recent news has it that uh, uh, Snoop Dogg, Snoop D-O-double-G, uh, biopic is in the works. It's definitively in the works. Um, and basically, it, it will be told in Snoop. Snoop's own words um, uh, and Snoop is also the producer of the biopic and it's um, with Universal Pictures and it's going to be uh, written by Black Panther co-screenwriter uh, Joe Robert Cole and basically um, you know today uh, Universal Pictures announced that it was developing a, a definitive biopic of the uh, 50 old, uh, 51 year old entertainment industry mogul icon of gangster rap uh, basically, the film will incorporate music from Snoop's 30-year career, for which he has received uh, 17 Grammy nominations and frequently collaborated with uh, another uh, Los Angeles rap icon, Dr. Dre, who uh, first featured Snoop on his debut solo single, Deep Cover, in 1992. Um, and the guy who's actually uh, writing it, uh, Joe Robert Cole, who co-wrote of uh, the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe uh uh, films Black Panther and uh, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, with uh, Ryan Coogler, uh, brother from Oakland. What up, Ryan? Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, uh, they will write the uh, screenplay while the filmmaker Alan Hughes, uh, who is basically uh, in charge of the, this latest documentary that hasn't been released yet from Tupac uh, called Dear Mama that's done on HBO, um, uh, he Alan Hughes is going to direct the film so I guess you know uh, this should be interesting you know what I mean um, uh, like I said Alan Hughes you know who worked with Tupac on his first uh, uh, music video one of his first music videos uh, uh, Brenda's Got a Baby uh, so yeah this is going to be uh, interesting Snoop basically said he, he said I waited a long time to put this project together because I wanted to choose uh, the right director the perfect writer and the greatest movie company I could partner with that could understand the legacy that I'm trying to portray on screen and the memory I'm trying to leave behind. Snoop, who will also produce the project, said in a statement uh, uh, today. Um, he said the movie will make uh, the movie will make for the uh, first film from Snoop's new production company, uh, Death Row Pictures. So Snoop not only owns Death Row Records. But now he started a, a film division uh, with Death Row Pictures, um, born from the record label Death Row Records, which the rapper uh, purchased in February. Uh, Universal uh, chairman uh, Donna Langley said in a statement Wednesday that she had the opportunity to hear Snoop's story in his own words uh, when they met sometime after Snoop acquired Death Row Records. And I think it's going to be interesting because they'll be able to use all of the music without any kind of problem involving uh, uh, licensing and things like that. That's, that's a great thing. Great business move for Snoop on that part. Um, basically, she said, uh, we are humbled to be able to create the lasting document of this singular artist, Langley added in a statement. Um, and so, yeah, you know, basically um, the guy who, who's basically, and I think it's going to be interesting because the guy who uh, co-wrote the uh, screenwriter for, um, uh, for, uh, uh, 
Black Panther as well as the new Black Panther that's coming out uh, in what two days um, in a statement uh, Wednesday screenwriter Cole said the humanity of Snoop's journey uh, to an in international icon is what excites him most about embarking on the project while director Hughes added there is just something about his energy that brings people of all walks of life together uh, that's what Alan Hughes and the guy uh, uh, Joe Cole who's basically uh, going to be writing the film uh, said Universal also produced uh, 2015 Straight Outta Compton, a biopic about the influential rap group NWA that featured uh, Lakeith Stanfield's portrayal of Snoop in a cameo role. Uh, Corey Hawkins in The Heights uh, co-starred as uh, Dr. Dre in that film. The company did not announce who will portray Snoop in the upcoming biopic, but uh, it's sure to be interesting, man. Now, like I said, I'm, you know, what do you guys think? You know, chime in. Um, like I said, Snoop still making power moves. You know, not only does he own Death Row Records, but now is this project coming out on, um, you know, Death Row uh, uh, Pictures, if you will. And uh, I think it's going to be a, um, a, 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 a really good thing. Like I said, it all depends on who stars as Snoop. And I want to see, you know, some of the aspects that they cover. You know, if, if some of the stuff has to do with Tupac, his relationship with Tupac as well as you know his early um, beginnings dealing with the dog pound um I'm sure they're gonna cover the murder trial um and all of the things that um people probably had questions about and um, that now Snoop gets to tell from his perspective because he actually lived through it himself um yeah so like I said I want to hear what you guys have to say I think um the, the writer that they have the guy um, um the guy Cole right I think that's a you know I hope he, he you know does you know somewhat of a good job in, in writing it i think that's the most important part you know what i mean i don't know if he's sitting down with snoop and they you know basically sitting down and, and going over it and so on and so forth but uh i think it should be uh an interesting uh piece of work to come out of uh death row pictures you know and, and when you think about it this is some of the stuff that um that if you if you want to be honest that suge knight should have did you know what i mean like the the thing that snoop's doing now you know having a catalog and all of these things and, you know, doing movies and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I think Suge was a little too um, involved in, in, you know, the betrayal of the gangster life and, and so on. There's so many other things that did, really didn't have anything to do with handling business. So I got to take my hat off to Snoop for really, you know, moving in that direction, you know, thinking about, you know, Death Row Pictures and then partnering with Universal Music Group. Uh, or universal uh, a picture should i say and and being able to do that and bring his life story uh, uh as well as another piece of solidifying his legacy to life you know what i mean so i think that's gonna be interesting man i can't wait to see what they come up with uh when this is is finally uh gonna be released you know who's gonna play dr dre who's gonna play tupac who's gonna play suge all of these things uh have are going to be uh answered real soon like i said so yeah that's the those are the things that i i, I want to see like okay and and how well they gel together and mesh together as far as acting as well as the screenplay as well as how they use the music in the film so i think it's going to be interesting man you know uh chime in man and tell me what you guys think about it and um yeah it, that would be greatly appreciated also on another note with the snoop thing um like i said when you talk about um just entrepreneurship, you know what I mean? To 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 think of it from that perspective and say, hey, you know what? I've been, you know, thinking about doing some kind of like documentary type deal, and now all of a sudden to come and to make this a feature film is very, very interesting. Like I said once again, you gotta take your hat off to Snoop for his business uh, uh moves, his power moves that he's been making in regards to uh the film, the music, uh, uh, the, the branding of Death Row. And like I said, you know, um, I, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So, yeah, your boy Delray, chime in. Tell me what you guys think. Straight game.